welcome back ladies and gents today we're going to make a quick video on bacterial stress in your grain jars um, you know we're all growing and learning as cultivators and in the last few months uh, this is what I've learned about a year ago I probably would have spawned these jars um, but now I know better and what we're looking for here is um, bacteria that's growing in your jars and putting the mycelium under stress you can see right here that little spiky patch um, that's a sign to look for also these seeds down here that didn't quite get covered there's just that little bit that's still poking out through the glass is a sign of bacteria and um, and then also an abnormal amount of sweat in the jars here's a here's a good example of that right here you can kind of see like all that uh, moisture up at the top I mean of course a little sweat in your jar is normal and fine but if they seem overly sweaty and especially if it's a, a thick layer of moisture between the glass and the mycelium as you can see uh, Ooh, maybe that's not the best example. I moved a little bit. I know. Uh, anyways, if your jar, I mean, if it's able to slide around inside the jar like that, it's because there's an incredible amount of moisture between the seed and the glass, and that's another sign to look for. So, yeah, those spiky, um, you know, smudgy patches and, uh, and the moisture in the jar, and then, like I said, when the seeds aren't getting um, fully covered, uh, and so uh, it is possible to grow mushrooms from these jars. I've done it before. Like I said, a year ago, I didn't know to look for this stuff. Um, but I believe it leads to, uh, you know, there's a high risk of contamination. And it also leads to um, lower yields, you know, smaller flushes. And the mushrooms that do grow in come in kind of either, you know, small or, um, you know, mutated. They grow in as little globs or just, you know, you know what funky looking mushrooms look like. Um, anyways, and so uh, I did an experiment here. I, I'm switching from bird seed to popcorn. I believe the problem is um, the, it's just the quality of the grains. At one point, I had thought it was the gasker, excuse me, the gasket in my pressure cooker had crapped out, and I thought that the, you know, it just simply wasn't hitting the 15 psi necessary to fully sterilize them. Um, so I fixed that issue, and uh, it wasn't that. I um, did an experiment here. I, I made, I got some popcorn. I made some jars of popcorn. These two are from the same jar of liquid culture. And as you can see, you know, this one's showing uh, all those signs we discussed earlier. Um, this one seems to be, re you know, really healthy. So I had read on a mu message board when I was troubleshooting this issue. Uh, someone posted something along the lines of that they don't even use uh, wild bird seed anymore for those reasons, um, that it can still harbor little tiny contaminants within the grain that survived the sterilization process. Um, and this one, like I said, it's from the same liquid culture as this gay right here, and it appears to be a lot more healthy. Um, this, I found this bag of um, popcorn right here uh, it was about 35 bucks. This is a 50 pound bag. I found it at a local um, uh, restaurant supply store. So I'm going to be using this from now on. It's, um, you know, meant for human consumption, whereas this bird seed most certainly is not. And uh, I, I really think that's the issue here is that it's just, you know, it's just. Um, you know, not good grains. And so if you are able to, I know it's uh, times are tough out there. I was using bird seed because it's cheap. And uh, you know, this, this jar, bag of popcorn that I found um, was just a little bit more expensive, you know, by like, I think maybe like seven to 10 bucks or something like that. And, uh, and I think I'm going to be the all, all, all the better for it. Um, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, you want good good source grains, apparently, to, to cut back on that issue of having bacteria in your jars. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today. I just wanted to show you guys a little something on how to identify that. So, you know, if anyone out there having the same problem, now you know. All right, my dog is dinging at the door, so I'm going to split. But you all have a great day. Peace.